In this video, we are going to visualize middle term splitting. Over here, I have taken an expression x square plus 2x plus 1 and with the help of middle term splitting, I have factorized it into x plus 1 whole square. So, I will try to visualize this with the help of areas. Let's say I have a square with a side x. So, what will be the area of this square? It will be x square. This means I can simply represent this term x square with the help of this square. Now, similarly, if I take a strip with a breadth of 1 and a length of x, you can see that this length is equal to the side of square. Then what will be the area of this strip? It will be x into 1, that is x. Now, if I have to represent 2x, how will I do that? I will take two such strips. Now, 1 is left. I can represent 1 with the help of this 1 unit square. Now, according to middle term splitting, I can split up 2x into x plus x. That is, I can split it up like this. Now, if I place this one strip along this side of the square and the other strip along this side of the square, and place the one unit square over here, then what do I get? I get another square of side x plus 1. Now what is the area of this square? It is simply x plus 1 whole square. Similarly, we can also visualize x square plus 5x plus 6. So, Again, for representing x square, I will use a square, the side of which is x. For 5x, I will have to use 5 such strips. And for representing 6, I will use square, 6 square units. Now, according to middle term splitting, I will split 5x into 3x and 2x. That is, I will split it like this. Now, if I place 3 of these strips over here and 2 of the strips over here and these 6 units I place over here. So, what do I get? I get a rectangle the length of which is x plus 3 and the breadth of which is x plus 2. So, what will be the area of this rectangle? It will be x plus 3 into x plus 2 which is our expression. Over here, I have another expression. We can see that there is a negative term over here. First, let us see what happens after middle term splitting. We get x square plus 2x minus x minus 2. We can see that there are two negative terms and two positive terms. First, let us represent the two positive terms. So, for x square, I will take this square again. And for 2x, I will take two such strips. Now, to represent minus x, I will take another such strip, but I will use its green side to show that it is not a part of this area. And I will not put it next to the square, but on top of the square to show that this strip is not increasing the area, but decreasing the area. Similarly, for the two, uh, for these, this minus 2, again I will take two unit squares but I will use their white sides and I will keep it on top of these strips. This again shows that I am reducing the area and not increasing the area. Now I will consider only the red part of the area and how much is that? It is x minus 1 into x plus 2 which is our expression over here. In this expression also, I have one negative term. Let's see what I get after middle term splitting. 
I get x square minus x minus 2x plus 2. So over here also I will first represent the positive terms. So for x square I will use 1 square like this and for these 2 units I will use 2 unit squares. Now I have 2 negative terms, 1 is minus x and 1 is minus 2x. For minus x I will use one such strip and I will use its green side. I will keep it along this side of the square. For minus 2x I will again use two such strips but I will use their green sides and I will keep them in such a way so that they cover the two unit squares over here. Now what is the remaining area which is red? It is x minus 2 into x minus 1 which is the expression that we got over here. Now I have the expression 2x square minus x minus 1 and after middle term splitting I get 2x square minus 2x plus x minus 1. Over here also I will first represent the positive terms. Since I have 2x square I will take 2 such squares. To represent x I will take 1 such strip and keep it next to these squares. Now for representing minus 2x I will take 2 such strips but I will use their green sides and I will keep it along the sides of squares like this. Now to represent minus 1 I will take 1 unit square and keep it on the strip. Now what is the remaining area which is red? It is x minus 1 into 2x plus 1 which is our expression over here. 